Uh, my name is Brian Holt from Salt Lake City, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Yeoman, just as he was talking about. It's a project that you help you scaffold up projects really quickly. Um, so people like to take advantage of Yeoman because you can scaffold projects like Angular, um, Ember, jQuery, just really quickly. Um, and it uses these three tools right here, Yo, Grunt, and Bower, to scaffold these big, uh, pr projects up really quickly. And, and it's What's kind of great about it is, like I said, is you can get these packages like jQuery and, um, and Ember, but it has a lot of things like some very sane defaults, um, really easy tools to use. <coughs> um, so you can kind of think of it like a prefab house, like it's just this house that you can use and uh, like there's a door and there's like three windows and it's just really easy to use. Um, and there's kind of two different kinds of generators, there's the ones that like are just like boilerplate, like it's just copy and paste. Um, and there's other ones that like you get to choose like the fixtures and that's kind of like the um, like the templating part of it. But you have to ask yourself, what if I don't have sane defaults? What if I have insane defaults? What if I'm different? Um, and it's kind of like what happens if I need a surface to air uh, emplacement at my house? Um, and Yeoman can do those kind of things for you too, um, if you don't have quite ins uh, sane def um, defaults. Um, and that's kind of where these custom generators come into place. Um, there are these generators that you write yourself um, that it's for a, a project that you do a lot of that not necessarily everyone else is going to do a lot of. Um, and you can employ the same kind of techniques. There's templating um, and all sorts of really cool tools that you can use. Um, and so an example I can give you is I work for a company called Needle and we have all these awesome customers. Um, and onboarding a new customer is largely repetitive. Um, it's not use your, my generator is not useful for someone else's project, um, but it is useful for us. So we can use Yeoman to scaffold these up, these projects extremely quickly. Um, so I'm gonna give you an example. For this presentation, I wrote a generator for MD Press, which is Markdown Presentations, which ironically I can't use for this presentation. Um, but it was kind of what I did to get a firm grasp on this. Um, so basically it creates this entire directory st structure that you see right here, um, just really quickly. But it's all necessary, um, but it would take a while to copy and paste all this stuff and put it into place. So this is kind of what the prompt is. I've got a nice little picture of the yeoman guy. Um, so you just say, yo, MD Press, and it asks, like, what do you want to call it? Um, is this an Ignite presentation? It'll load custom JavaScript if it is. It won't if it's not. Um, and this is kind of the crux of the code. It's pretty damn simple. Like, it's just like, I want you to template this. I want you to copy this. If they answered yes to this, then do this. If not, then do that. It's really easy. It's just it's kind of just digging into the code to understand what you need to do. So you're like, cool story, bro. I can do that with a copy and paste. Why do I need a tool to do it? Um, so for me, the cool part about it is Grunt. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with Grunt.js. It's got all these built-in tasks that it can run for you. And Yeoman will scaffold up these tasks for you so you don't have to set it up every single time, um, which I love, because it's going to promote things like test-driven development. Um, it's going to scaffold up all your testing for you, and then you just have to put into place exactly what kind of tests you want to run, like Jasmine or Mocha or all of those um, wonderful things. Like, I need to work harder on it because I suck at it. Um, and then I love that, it, like, you, you go to run your project, and if it doesn't pass Lint and Hint, it's not going to let you go. Like, it's going to say, you fix your shit right now, or else I'm not going to let you go. <laughs> now, you can get around it if you want to, but. Um, don't. <laughs> um, and then it does live reload for you. Like it's just like built into it. So you can just like watch files, see if it changes, if it's coffee script, compile it automatically. It's awesome stuff. So um, just to recap, it's three tools that can get you through um, your workflow really quickly. It does all these templating wonderful things for you. Um, it's going to let you make your custom generators to make your projects on the f like on the fly and make them really useful. Um, and it's, it's really easy. Like there, if you find yourself doing a repetitive task over and over and over again, like you're copying, pasting lots of boilerplate, there is no reason not to use um, Yeoman and
custom generators. It also promotes good code, test-driven development, and yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you.